This is a video tutorial on how to make the Happy Days Tia Tea Cozy. It's fully lined with no raw seams showing and this is how you make it. We'll start by making the tab. Take your tab fabric and fold it in half, wrong sides together and crease. Open out and fold this edge into that crease and this edge into the crease that you made and then fold over, pop some clips in and then take it over to the sewing machine and top stitch along that edge and along that edge. I've top stitched along both sides and that's your tab finished. Place your wadding on the work surface and then take one piece of your outer and place on top of your wadding, wrong side on top and as you can see I've already creased a centre line by folding it in half. Now take your tab that you made early, earlier and fold that in half and then place it with a folded edge facing downwards on that centre crease and pop a clip or a pin in just to keep it into place and then take your other outer fabric and place that right sides together on top. Now take your last piece of wadding and place on top and then put some clips all the way around. I've clipped all the way around the curve. I'm leaving the bottom open and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance sew carefully all the way around this curve. Take your time and then stop. I've sewn all the way around and now I'm going to turn it the right way. I've turned it the right way and I'm going to put it to one side while we work on the lining. Place your two lining fabrics right sides together Line up all the bottom edges and all the curves and then clip all the way around. I've clipped all the way around and now I'm going to take it over the sewing machine and I'm going to start there and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance sew all the way around the curve and stop, leave a gap, start again and sew all the way down the other side and stop. I've sewn all the way around remembering to leave a gap and along that side and I've also snipped around the curves. Now with the lining still turned the wrong way we're going to place the outer we made earlier inside. I've placed the outer inside the lining so right sides are together. I've lined up both these side seams and also the bottom edges and I've put lots of clips in and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Join the lining to the outer by sewing all the way around and stop. I've sewn all the way around, joining the lining to the outer and now what's left is to pull the outer the right way through the lining. I've sewn all the way around, joining the lining to the outer and now I'm going to turn it the right way by pulling it through the gap I left at the top. I've turned it the right way and I've sewn up the gap and now I'm going to put the lining 
inside the outer. I'll push the lining inside and as you can see I've left a little bit of the lining showing to give a, a nice finish and I've pressed it and the last piece of sewing is to top stitch all the way around your tea cosy. I've top stitched along the bottom and all that's left to do now is to pop your tea, tea cosy on top of your teapot to keep your tea nice and warm.